welcome to day 21 of the exercise challenge. So, um, I have to say that the exercise that my husband and I did yesterday, that even though it was only 10 minutes long, oh my gosh, my legs are still super sore. However, I have to say for the first time on this challenge, I actually feel like um, I've got some stronger muscles than I had before. Like my leg muscles are, um, like I can tense them and make a muscle and it's like, oh my gosh, there's an actual muscle there. <laughs> So maybe this is going in the right direction. That's pretty cool. I definitely feel stronger than I have in the past, um, which is a nice feeling. But anyways, that would definitely um, would be a workout if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge. Um, I really enjoyed that one. That's going to be one that we, we do again for sure. Um, so food for today. My husband... Um, so I had to work tonight, obviously, so I took a nap this afternoon, but we um, decided to grill out. My husband had bought some more corn, so he had some corn on the cob to put on the grill, and um, my younger daughter, who's 18, who's super, super uh, artistic-y, helped him make supper, and so it was super cute. So you take a look at these two pictures. So the first one is strawberries with blueberries, and the second one is Asian pears with um, pomegranate seeds. Mm, excuse me. So, can you tell what that's supposed to be? A little Pac-Man. <laughs> I was like, that's very clever. I would not have thought of that. So, she made little Pac-Man plates for fruit trays. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, and then my husband also grilled out some veggie um, hot dogs. I'm not sure what the brand name on them is. Smart Light? Smart Life? Smart something veggie hot dogs? I don't know. Um, they were okay. They're not bad. Um, had a bite of one of them. The outside skin on it is kind of a little bit tough and the inside's a hot dog consistency and flavor wise it's fine. So that's pretty cool. Um, but that's what I brought with me. I brought one hot dog chopped up and my husband actually cut the corn off of two ears of corn for me because I told him there was just no way I was going to eat corn on the cob at work. It's way too messy and would need to have like floss and all that kind of stuff. And so he just like, well, I'll just cut it off the corn, the cob for you. I was like, Ooh, sounds great. I would love that. So I have that, and then my mom brought over a big huge salad mixing stuff, like we just lined the counter up with salad stuff. So I have like three different types of lettuces in there, and there's cucumbers, and chopped up peppers, and scallions, and um, Dr. Furman's creamy Italian salad dressing, and I could have put tomatoes on it, which I should have put the whole tomatoes on it. Um, my mom always chops up tomatoes, but I don't like putting chopped tomatoes on my salad because it just kind of makes everything gooey. So I didn't put that on there. Um, but had I been thinking, that's what I should have done. I should have put up some of the little whole baby tomatoes that we buy. I didn't think about that. Um, and then I've got a little, little container with some strawberries and blueberries in it. So, anyways, I'm pretty excited about food for today. I don't know that that's going to be enough. Like, the amount that I took would be about what um, we would eat for a meal at like supper time. So I'm, that's gonna be okay though. It's no big deal. I'll eat again when I get home in the morning if I'm hungry, it's not a problem, but. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> so anyways, um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else exciting to tell you. I do want to do either an upper body workout or an abs workout tomorrow morning when I get home. So I will probably look on, um, I suppose I could do the ropes. I haven't done those, that in a couple of days, a little, little while. Maybe I'll do battle ropes. That's a very good upper body workout. Um, it's actually quite difficult to um, get that 40 pound rope moving very well. Um, especially the ones where you do the exercises where the rope goes up to your head and stuff and then comes back down. And I can get it to come down with a fair good amount of force, but getting it up is kind of a little tough. <laughs> so anyways. Um, that's it for me for now. I am going to go into work and same old, same old, start my 10 days in a row on again. Um, it was really nice having four days off in a row. Holy cow. It felt like having forever off. It was really, really nice. I really enjoyed that. Um, but anyway, that's it for me for now. So I will talk to you guys again in the morning and I hope you had a fabulous day and had something yummy to eat too. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, so last night, um, normally I walk for 30 minutes on my lunch break at work, and last night I got to work and it was 
super cold <laughs> in the hospital, like super cold. So um, I decided I was gonna run to Kroger and get some soy creamer so I can make some hot tea. And they didn't have any, which was really a bummer. So I bought some almond creamer instead. And yeah, it wasn't very good in my tea, so it was kind of a bummer. But I drank my tea anyway, because I was cold and it was warm and that was very nice. But I didn't get my walk in, so that was kind of a bummer. But anyways, um, I ate like three different times last night and it worked out really well because I got hungry early. So I ate um, my corn and um, veggie hot dog, vegan hot dog at probably about 9.30, 9.45. And then, and it was super good, by the way. Like, out on the grill, hot dog, that was delicious. And then I had, let's see. Not sure what time it was when I had my fruit. It probably was about one o'clock in the morning, something like that. My tech was on lunch, so maybe maybe 1.15 or 1.30, something like that. Anyways, so I ate that, and then I had my salad a couple hours later. Actually, it was about four. Um, and that salad dressing on salad is just so yummy. My husband um, put some pistachios in it for me, which were kind of soft, so that wasn't super awesome, but the flavor was really, really good. So that was cool. It was a very enjoyable evening for meals. I'm not super hungry, um, so it's not like I need to go home and eat like immediately because I'm starving Marvin or anything. So I'm going to go home and exercise first. Um, I'm also going to read to my boys because I haven't done that in two days. And I'm going to probably eat before I go to bed so that I'm not like starving um, halfway through the day. So I, that is my plans. I do think I'm going to do the battle ropes, unless Anthony would like to do something different, in which case then I'll, I'll let you guys know what it is that I'm doing. But I think I'm probably gonna do the battle ropes. That sounds enjoyable to me. Um, should be a good upper body workout without taxing my leg muscles too badly because yeah, the tops of my legs are still sore, like still sore. <laughs> crazy. Um, yeah. So I hope you're having a great day. And if I'm doing something other than battle ropes, I'll chat with you again soon. And if I'm doing battle ropes, then, um, yeah, I'll just go do that for a little bit and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. So either way, bye. Alrighty guys. So I am home. I have done battle ropes with my husband. It was a really good workout. Um, I'm kind of hot now. So my rash is kind of itchy now, which is not fun and exciting. But I did want to eat before I went to lay down, but I didn't want anything like super, super, super heavy. At this point in time, I would usually have like a bowl of rice or something, oh, maybe oatmeal or something, but I wanted something light. So this is what I fixed for myself. I've got some veg some fruit that my daughter made yesterday for supper. And there's an apple that has just peanut butter drizzled across the top of it. So that's what I'm going to have. It's gonna be wonderful and refreshing and delicious. And I've got a big glass of water in front of me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enjoy having my fruit for breakfast and I will talk to you guys again tonight.